Unless, unless you want to sit here, I don't care. What do you prefer? Sophia Loren, one of the most beautiful movie stars that ever happened, she came to us from Italy. I did her first interview in America when the city of New York went wild over Sophia. There were lights, cameras, fireworks all over the place on her first arrival. She um, was a, a, a amazing to talk to. Other interviews had difficulty uh, with her because she would just answer the question, but for some reason there was a chemistry and we hit it off great and she would talk about anything with me and for 90 minutes of the time. If you have to sit there, no, no, no. I, I respect. No, 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 no. I want you to get all the best shots. Not that you need them. You're a beautiful woman. You don't have a best, you don't have a bad side. Oh. That's gorgeous. And the microscope. That's nice. That's very yeah. good. That is good. It's okay. <laughs> Where have you been? You've stayed away from me for over, what, a year and a half? Oh, last time? yes, yes, yes. Last I time grew, we played I poker. I taller, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. won also. I know, but you cheat. I cheat. Everybody I know that's but ever poker, played poker, but poker with you said you is cheat. cheating. Poker is not cheating. Aye. There are, Come aye. on. <laughs> there are rules. Is cheating. What do you mean? There are rules to poker. When you play blind and you have nothing in your hands, you don't cheat? What do you do? You mean bluff? You mean bluff? Yeah, yeah. Bluff, sure. but not. But well, cheat and bluff are two different. What, what is the difference between? What well, cheat they kill you here for? Bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <laughs> bluff. <laughs> Do you still play poker? Uh, no. Back in. Not since. Uh, not since I played here yeah. on the show. Yeah. That was that famous, one of the most famous ad libs ever on this show, when uh, Charles Nelson Riley was playing in the game, and. I, you had two aces, and I said, oh, she's got two big ones. And Charles said, boy, has she got two big ones. <laughs> that was one of the better ad-libs ever on this show. I got really very good cards. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> Italian women well, are... you gave me the right cards no, 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 because no, no, you no. wanted me to win No, no, game. no, no. I thought about that later on. Italian women are lucky. Don't you think so? No, I think they're women who have a winning nature, and I'm one of them. Uh, yeah. A winner. Are, are you very sensitive? I mean, do you know things before they're going to happen? Do you have those extra powers? Premonitions, you mean? Mm hmm Oh, sometimes... Or uh, intuition, good intuition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mystical? Do you? Do you? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, I do have good... But unfortunately, yeah. when you have them, you never believe in them. You, know? you don't follow your own. No, you don't follow. Mm -mm, that's bad. Where is home now for you, Sophia? I can't figure it out. Sometimes they write in New York it's like you live simple. there. The home is everywhere for me, where my family is. So, may, it might be New York, might be uh, in Los Angeles, might be in Geneva for the moment because the children go to school in Geneva. Might be in Italy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, everywhere. But uh, I recently even read that you had a ranch out in San Fernando Valley. No? Around, around that area, yeah. Well, you do. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's very well, nice. Where are you content? In, Swinzer in Switzerland? Mm -hmm. It's very nice. And the, and the boys are in school there? They go to school over there, yeah. Is that good? It's a very good school, and they are very happy there because it's a very small town, so they can... Uh, uh, walk around, you know. Now, you know, Carla is 15 years old and the other one is 11 years old, mm -hmm. so they're quite... Um, uh, Adventurous? Um, grown up, so they want to go out sometimes, and if you live in a big city, of course, a mother always gets worried about it. But in Geneva, it's still fine, and uh, it's still a peaceful little town, so I let them go out. You're not overprotective, though. I mean, you're going to let them get out and live in the world, aren't you? Sure. I do. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I do. Do you feel very safe in Switzerland? I feel quite safe. I mean, how can you, be, how can you feel safe anywhere uh, uh, nowadays? It's impossible. Mm. But uh, in Geneva, I feel quite safe, let's say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any desire to live again in uh, Italy? Or is there a little bitterness between you and the Italian government? I don't know what bitterness means, because it's not in my vocabulary. Right. Uh, I think that uh, I can go back to Italy whatever, whenever I want to. 
I can uh, go and see my mother, my sister and my family. And um, so uh, I'm very happy now. Do emotions like bitterness and hate show on one's face? I think it does. Yeah, so. I do too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You believe in kindness. You write about I believe kindness, in, kindness in your book. Kindness. I believe in uh, graciousness. I believe in good things, in positive things. Of right. course I do. Let me show them the book cover again. Oh, I should have showed the other side too. It's another huh? nice view. Look at this side. That's pretty. Ooh, oh, listen. you like that? Your, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which side? You want to vote? <laughs> well, you buy the book, you get both sides. We've selected some pictures out of there. Mm -hmm. We'll just show them here and you comment, okay? All right, here's the first one. That's young oh. Sophia. Huh? I was about uh, Eduardo's age, about 11 years old there, 12 maybe, yeah. Skinito. Oh, very skinny. That's yeah. a stecchetto, yeah. How do you say it? Stecchetto, little toothpick. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. What's Spanish? A flaca. A flaca. Flaca. Yes, I hey, was a you, flaca then. You some flaca kid there. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hand on the hip, though. That's a little... Uh, it's a bad in your fall. Don't fool yeah, around, yeah, right? Yeah. I'll punch Already, you in the nose. Yeah. That was in Naples? Uh, that was in Pozzuoli, my hometown, yeah. Mm -hmm. You had a nickname at that time, what, a toothpick they used to call you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you say toothpick in Italian? Stecchetto. Oh, st oh. No, stuzzicadente. Oh, that's yes, long. That's Stuzzicadente. Stuzzicadente, yes. Toothpick. Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the film that I did with George Hucor, Heller in Pink Tides. Oh, be darned. Now, it was a very pretty, very, very beautiful film. And I was a blonde for the first time on the screen. Mm -hmm. And very pretty, but even there you don't look developed. You know what I mean? I look underdeveloped. Yeah, you look still underdeveloped. Hungry. No, why? Well, you, you, I don't no, know. I mean, You're maybe it's the picture. I mean, why? Do it's you say very that? pretty, but you do look no, thin. No, but uh, actually, in that film, I like I a was... little more voluptuousness. He never changes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, as a matter of fact, in that film, I was a little bit under my weight. Yes, uh -huh, I, uh, because George Huco didn't want me like you want me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I lost a lot of weight then, yeah. Uh, mm. Next one. Oh, that's with Peter oh, Sellers. Peter yes. Sellers, yes. yes. I was quite plump then, yeah. No. Very round face, yes. That's Very nice. pretty head. The Millionaires. The Millionaires, yes. 1960. This next one's interesting. I love this. Oh, that's oh. Uh, Man of La Mancha, yeah. Yeah, that's when you played that's the That's when I was waiting, yes. I the was maid. pregnant of Eduardo there. Yeah. My word. Very nice. Huh? Now, see, that's better than the skinny one with the... <laughs> you were so thin you had to hold up the flowers. Did you notice in the picture? No, Not no, anymore. No. no, no, I didn't have to. Oh, you did? No, no, no. No, no, no. no? <laughs> <laughs> next one. But you like oh. wild women, that's all. Yeah. Mm. There's Marcello. Hey, Marcello. Hey, the Latin Marcello. lover. Yes. Yesterday, Always today, there. and tomorrow. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. are, are you in touch all the time with Marcello when you find a great co-star like that? Do you stay in touch? Do you stay friends over the years? Oh, well, I mean, uh, with Marcello, we never see each other, but we are great friends. I mean, and you if never you are really a friend, I mean, if you're really friends, you don't have to see each other all the time. Well, then what's the point of being friends? I mean, why not? Well, I mean, when you have a friend, you have to see your friend every day. No, not every day. And really, uh, I mean, uh, bother him every day. No, but when's no, the but last Marcello? time you saw Marcello? Oh. It's about uh, maybe a, a year and a half ago, two it's years too ago. Too long. Too long. Too long. Well, I have to talk to him. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the next one. Now you write, oh, you write dear, beautifully dear, of dear Richard. Richard Burton yes. in your book. Wonderful you called him one of the most intelligent, and he yet one, one of the most wonderful conversationalists. Italian, conversationalist. Conversation. What did I say? Yeah, you did conver conversationalist. No. You converted him. Yeah, what did I, what did I, no, no, what did I say? 
con now you got me doing it. Wait, uh, conversation conversationalist. Conversation, conversationalist. Yeah, yes. it's a long one. You write in, uh, in, his, in your book that he came to Villa Marino uh, when you were going to do a film together. He the wanted voyage. to get away. The voyage. The voyage. Yes. And he wanted to get away from all the people yes, uh -huh, and, and press. And he came and stayed at the villa, and you had a wonderful long talk. See, I read the book. Wonderful <laughs> long talks together. And yes. How brilliant you felt. Yeah, a wonderful time. It was a, he's a very brilliant man because he likes to talk very much about ideas more than uh, gossiping, you know, yeah. about yeah. people. And uh, this is one quality I admire very much. When you wrote the book, he had not passed away. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Well, I, I wrote the book about uh, a year ago. Right. Yeah. Next picture. Hey. There are the boys. <laughs> These are my son. That's Carlo. Carlo's what, 15 now? Yeah, he's 15. He's uh, more than 5'8". Handsome and, uh, boy. The other one is Eduardo, right. who is in the picture with me. Yes, he is in the film, he's isn't he? In the film with me. And he's 11 years old. Does that look like the beginning of a career that he will want? That's the only thing for the moment that he really is very passionate about. Film. Film and being an actor. Huh. And Carly wants to be a pianist because he likes music very much and that's what he does all the time. And you told me that Carlo is now growing a mustache. Well, yes, he, he starts to, you know, how do you say? Yeah. yeah, get little black hairs there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any control over them? Are you still, do they obey or do they have minds of their own? Well, I hope they have minds of their own. <laughs> right. And are you? I hope. Uh, are you tough? Are you a disciplinarian? No, 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 no. no. I'm a very nice person. I know my that. Children. I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. I never. I, I'm not very tough. No, no, no. I'm not at all. Yeah. No, no. Let's show a picture of the. Uh, that's a picture from Arabesque, I think. That's a picture from. Uh, isn't that Villa Marina? What? Isn't that the garden of your house behind there? Yeah. It is. Yes. We see the garden of Villa Marina behind. Yes, with the column. Right. And that picture. But that, that picture is a picture from Arabesque mm -hmm. that they blew up. Right. And then the next one here is a picture with your. Uh, oh, that's my sister. Your sister. Yes, yes. Uh, when I was doing uh, two women. Now is she the one uh, married to uh, Mussolini? Romano, yes. Romano but Mussolini. She, she divorced, and she has two oh. wonderful children. And one of them wants to be an actress, and she's a very, very beautiful girl. She's 21 years old, and her name is Alessandra. Mm. <laughs> well, it's going to be a whole acting pretty, family, isn't yeah, it? I hope so. <laughs> then this is a famous picture. That's in Cannes. the sense, that's at Cannes. Yeah, that's you Cannes. had just won the Palme d'Or uh -huh. uh, for two women, mm -hmm. which you also won the Oscar. I don't look very well. happy there. <laughs> well, look at that mob of people around you. Yeah. Is that terror and fright? Are you frightened? I'm frightened, uh, yes, frightened of uh, big crowds. Mm -hmm. And still are after? Uh, yeah, you, 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 you can be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it's as big as that. But, uh, yeah. You love Charlie Chaplin. I adore Charlie Chaplin, yes. Right. He, you write that he gave you the best advice in your life. Well, he was very happy with my acting. He was very happy with me as a person. But uh, he said, the only, there's the one thing that uh, I don't like uh, about you. And I said, what it is? That uh, you always say yes. You don't know how to say no. Hmm. Then I realized, I said, maybe this wonderful person is right. I don't know how to say no. And he said, this is a terrible failure for a person because if you don't know how to say no, you spend your time in doing things that you don't want to do. You can't organize your day and you can't do in your day what you wish because you are always at the disposal of other people. Never please yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Constantly pleasing yeah. everybody But else. now I do. I'm 50 years old and I learned how to say no. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With, with I had to be 50. Listen, I made the film I was uh, in 1967. I waited a long time. How does it feel to be 50? Great. Do, are you aware that you're 50? Do you, I mean, Should but, I hide myself? No. Because I was no, but I mean, does anything feel on you like it's 50 years old? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. 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 
I think most people are just... You're never... You have 50-year-old feet. Is that a way to, <laughs> that a way to put a question? Well, is no. there anything that feels on you? I mean, I, no. No, but that is true, in a sense. I think happy people are those who are not... <laughs> You're going to write that in your next book, aren't you? You're thinking about all the things that are 50 years old, aren't you? <laughs> Sophia, uh, what are we talking about here? 50 oh. years old? <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? I think it's great to be 50. Yeah. Yeah. But are you, but you're not, aware, are you really aware of it? <laughs> are you? <laughs> well, she's gone, folks. <laughs> What doesn't work as well today? <laughs> Everything works perfectly. I knew that. I knew that. You know that I've never been afraid of age. Never. Never. And I always told uh, how old I was. And uh, being 50 is something that... Um, Happens to everybody. Maybe it will happen to you in 10 years. I don't know. <laughs> 12. <laughs> and it uh, when you have, uh, at 50, when you have a child of 15 and another one of 11 years old, I think that uh, you feel quite young and uh, you really anticipate the future instead of longing for the past. Mm. And uh, I feel great. I mean, I'm surprised sometimes that I turned 50 because uh, I feel so young with my children and uh, I have so many things to discover yet and so many things to do that uh, when they tell me, you're 50, with a kind of scare, uh, scare in their face? Uh, 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 fright in the face. Fright in the face. I say, yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, I'm 50, but I feel like really a 12-year-old girl. Yeah. That is good. Then everything is working perfectly. Everything, everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. everywhere.